Branding has always been important, hasn't it been? 20 years ago, Tom Peters, a personal branding pioneer, had once claimed that in the future, professionals are going to be using the same technology as any large corporation. And today, we are living the future. Hi guys, this is Jay, founder of Snowlink, and I'm going to be bringing some amazing content creation tips and tricks across this course. Now, content creation has become a buzzword nowadays, and everybody's thinking what it actually means and how it can help us bring out the best out of our businesses. And if you're wondering how to do that, you are at the right place. In this course, we are going to talk about with different speakers spread across different episodes, we are going to talk about all the necessary information and knowledge, and I will take the responsibility to equip you with all the tips and tricks important for you to get your business to blast. And so, without further ado, let's get started with the first speaker now. Content creation. You hear the term used a lot, and really all it means is creating communications media for your audience. And so that could be a video, it could be uh, images, GIFs, it could be written blogs, marketing material, and so podcasts. And so all it really means is communicating with your audience. Often it refers to doing it online. You know, and for a business, this can mean writing a weekly blog, having a regular podcast show. But what makes content creation really a little bit different is that it's not just any type of material. Really what it refers to is creating some form of program or relationship building content for your audience. Because back before the internet got really popular, if you think about it, this structure already existed and still does. You had television programs that were really super enriched, engaged storytelling that people loved, interspersed with commercials where businesses could advertise and reach these audiences. And so after the internet became more popular, you had a lot of these traffic moving online. And now all of a sudden you had businesses who were still advertising minus some of that great programming. And so you had a drop in the storytelling content. You had maybe people just strictly writing blogs or posting images and certain things like that. When social media came along and also technology allowed video production to become way more affordable, uh, bandwidth speeds got better, um, obviously video became more popular. You hear a lot about people podcasting. And the idea is that we're trying to recreate decent programming to match with our advertising so that we're not always just marketing directly to our audience or to our customers and we're not providing that rich storytelling content that once existed, for example, in the television world. And the television world is a really good example because there was always this marriage between advertising and content. And so if you think about it that way, content creation is not really a new concept. The only thing that has really changed is that now businesses have inherited the, their own channels and they need to replace that content to keep the audience engaged. And so as in the previous video, David talks about content creation is as simply recreation of storytelling based on the TV commercials. Aren't we all bored of TV commercials or aren't we all bored of being marketed at that? Like come on, 50 years before, like an average person would see 500 brand messages per day. And today, thanks to social media, we see 5,000 messages a day. And so when I see a commercial about like soda in some TV streaming application, I didn't want to buy the soda, but it rather wants just to make me buy the premium version of the streaming application. And so when we talk about content creation, when we talk about personal branding or storytelling, it's all about creating a connection with the person first, making the person like, trust and know us, a brand, a company, before we get into a financial connection with them. Having said that, let's move on to the next speaker. Content creation is the process of compiling and collecting filtered information for a specific targeted audience. And it's very important that the audience is always targeted because you don't want to appeal to everyone and end up losing some of the people in the process. And this information is always targeted and compiled for a specific objective, particularly in the marketing and digital marketing rather. And as Ludwig Casey points out, it's highly important for us to define a target audience. Here's a quick tip for all the content creators out there. Find your niche, define your target audience, 
and stick to your company's objectives and values. You are not an ice cream seller and hence you do not have to please everybody out there. Define your target audience and stick to it. And that's how you will grow. I believe that content marketing is one of the best ways to build any business that's out there. It's one of the best ways to attract people to you online. It's one of the best ways to build a relationship with people, to add value to people. And it's just you know a very fulfilling, enjoyable process. Look at the internet. If you go to Google, you type in anything. You go to Facebook, you go to your Instagram, whatever it might be, what is it all made up of? Content. Content is what makes up the internet. And I believe that in this day and age, you have to be a content creator. You have to. You have to utilize content to attract people, to add value, to build relationships with people because that's the best way to do business with people. If you already have a business or just starting out, you gotta understand that people do business with people that they like, they know, and they trust. Um, if you can have a relationship with people and do so by adding value and genuinely helping people and making a difference, then they're gonna be more likely to do business with you as opposed to someone else out there that they might not know. So content is powerful. And the truth is, you're already most likely a content creator whether you acknowledge it or not, right? If you are actually on Facebook or Instagram, YouTube or Snapchat or Periscope or whatever it might be, Twitter, and you're posting, you're publishing, you gotta understand that you are creating content you are already creating content. If you're posting on your Facebook page, whether it's reposting something or you know, posting whatever it is that you did that day or whatever it might be, you are already creating content and publishing that online. The question is, are you using it strategically to attract people to you, to build a better relationship, etc.? But creating content is like half the war won. Actually, you have to also make sure that your content reaches the right devices, the right people, the right accounts. And you also have to identify and leverage all the platforms out there. Jessica will now talk about content marketing and its significance. And we will talk about how you can make sure that your content reaches the prospective consumers and markets the product or your business for you. So content marketing is basically the strategy of putting out content and letting the content do your marketing for you. Any business can use this. Every single business out in the world from product to service to infopreneurs, whatever, can use content marketing and should use content marketing because there's such gold in holding the real estate for search engine key terms and things you want to talk about and things your audience wants to know about. So again, in a nutshell, content marketing is basically throwing all of your eggs into the content basket and letting that market your services for you. And you might wonder how that works. So in traditional marketing, you would you know, put your money into Facebook ads and your time into Facebook ads or Google ads or put your time into print ads or billboards or newspaper features or whatever, right? And those have a direct correlation to who comes in and who purchases from you. And then there's also the added piece of word of mouth, right? So you put your services out into the world, you do really well and people tell their friends about it. That's all kind of bundled into this whole traditional marketing thing. But content marketing is when you put out a lot of free content and it comes back to you with paid money. <laughs> so let's let's examine this a little bit. That traditional newspaper piece that you would have put out that was like, you know, get my free, get a free month of my service, that directly correlates to money. So we have a hard time sometimes thinking about how a blog post or a video or a podcast episode might come, you know, full circle and bring you money. What happens is this content you're putting out is acting as the way that people are getting to know you. They don't have to come into your store. They don't have to call you. They don't have to do any of that stuff. Your content is letting them get to know you quicker and in an easier way. And in the end, we have a fun activity by Brafton, a content marketing agency wherein they ask their employees what content marketing or content creation personally means to them. Let's see. And by the end of this course, you will also come up with your own definition of content creation. Creating is creating engaging pieces of advertising like videos, blogs, social images, and landing pages that people want to see, will enjoy, and will interact with. 
It's not just about creating, it's about sharing content, starting real conversations and building connections. Combining data and creativity to make something amazing. Content marketing is social media. Content marketing is storytelling. Content marketing is creating awesome videos. Filling your website with useful information. Content marketing is an effective way to engage and educate your audience. Content marketing is a million little things. Hard, but worth it.